Before I start this video, I just want to compare these two pictures. The first one is a screenshot from early in the Resurrection F arc, when Dragon Ball Super was first getting started, and the second one is a screenshot from an episode that came out earlier today. I mean, this can't be the same series. I know it's just one picture, but that is a huge difference. Anyway, episode 95 of Dragon Ball Super obviously came out today, and aside from that screenshot, there was so many things that happened. Most of them are revolving around this man right here. And just watching this episode play out, you see that if Frieza was a god of destruction, he would be one of the greatest of all time. He is so destructive. And in fact, in the episode, there was a scene where the Universe 9 assassin had been given energy by the God of Destruction to use as a last resort, and that's exactly what he did. He at least tried to use it on Frieza, but Frieza tanks the hit because he's gotten stronger, so there's every hint in the world that if there's ever going to be a new God of Destruction, it might be Frieza. So Frieza has gotten stronger, probably could have seen this coming, but the reasons for why aren't actually that bad. Before Frieza died, physically the only fault he had was his stamina. Aside from that, he didn't have any. During his time in hell, the only thing he was doing was training mentally. He envisioned himself killing Goku in every conceivable way, and so when he got caught in the Hakai Blast, which normally erases someone from existence, Frieza was able to withstand it and manipulate the power of a god into his own. And and what happens next is entirely Goku's fault. He lets his guard down to tell the assassins to go back to their own universe, and as soon as he does, Frieza hits him with the Hakai. Now you would think that if Frieza was able to get out of this, Goku should be able to as well. And for a second I thought that he was going to, but Goku is really struggling and it turns out that he can't escape it. This is when Frieza starts taking matters into his own hands by calling up the gods in Universe 9 and he says that he wants to join their team. I don't really understand Frieza's mindset here because the only thing he wants is to be resurrected and even though Goku agreed that he would, I guess they don't completely trust each other which isn't surprising. So he asked to join Universe 9. I don't think Frieza knows this but not even he could carry Universe 9. He would be their only good fighter but he says that he will do this if they revive him. Before Universe 9 can even accept his terms, Beerus and Whis show up because the Tournament of Power is starting right now. This whole time Goku is still trying to get out of the Hakai, then Beerus shows up and literally literally blows it away. Throughout this whole event, Frieza has been showing a lot of his true character, and at the end of the episode he says, this tournament that risks the erasure of the universe is the perfect chance to manipulate the gods. That is some of the most important dialogue you will ever hear in relation to this storyline. Frieza has come in and completely changed the game. It feels like we don't even have to worry about the other universes anymore, and when you have Frieza on your team plotting against everyone, I would not be surprised to see Frieza as a god of destruction. When when he's talking to Universe 9, the Kai calls him a more worthy god than Sidra, and at the end of the episode, Frieza says to himself, you won't be doing as you please forever, Beerus. Whatever that means, I think Beerus is in trouble. Seeing how much Frieza increased while he was dead, and now that this is his fourth time coming back, not just Beerus, but everyone who isn't Zeno should be worried about Frieza right now. If Universe 7 wins, and Frieza gets the wish, he could ask to become the new god of Universe 7, and that would relate back to what we're seeing him do now. Goku always said that he could stop Frieza if he ever did anything bad, but if he was a god of destruction, that would make things very difficult for him after the tournament. Anyway, that was episode 95, hands down one of the most satisfying episodes of the series. You saw the comparisons at the start of the video, let me know what you think. I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next Dragon Ball video.